Hello, my name is Lucas Sanchez, and I am the principal timpanist of the Palm Beach Symphony. I hope you all are healthy and safe during this time. Today we're going to talk about timpani technique, specifically how to hold the sticks and how to get a beautiful roll. Excellent. So for this one, you'll need just a pair of timpani mallets. Um, if you have a timpani practice pad, that's great. I love mine that I use every single day for practicing. But if you don't have that, you can use our trusty friend, the pillow. This will actually be and it'll come in handy in just a second to teach us how to do timpani technique. As for holding the sticks, there are two big schools of thought. There's the French style, where we have the thumbs up. This is more of a rotation of the wrist and arm. Then there's the German style, where our palms are facing the ceiling, our thumbs are facing each other. It's more of a, a flick, like a finger flick. Today we're going to talk about the French grip because I feel like that's a little bit easier to teach for younger students. And the pillow makes it excellent because in the French grip, the most important thing we have, it's four letters long, lift, L-I-F-T. So we're gonna practice lifting. All right, so to hold the mallet, we're gonna use our star regular fulcrum between our first finger and our thumb. Our third finger is gonna touch the stick and our fourth and fifth fingers are just gonna be just around it. Mine aren't actually touching. Same thing for the left hand, fulcrum, Third fingers there for support, and fourth and fingers, fourth and fifth fingers just go around. And go ahead and play this with me. We're just going to do some basic strokes, both mallets at the same time. Ready? And play. Notice how it's straight up and down. The sticks are parallel to each other all the time. Exactly, keep going. Notice how when you're playing on a pillow, you really have to lift the mallet off for it to come back at you. Don't let the mallet stay down there. Gotta lift it right back up. Excellent. We're gonna switch to twice as fast, alternating hands. So it's gonna be right, left, right, left. Ready, go. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Nice work. Keep them nice and parallel and keep lifting. If you take a look at my right hand, you'll see that it's kind of a rotation, right? I'm not really using my wrist in a downward motion. I'm like rotating my wrist here to get that stroke. Same thing with my left hand. Let's go back to eighth notes. One, two, ready, eighth notes. Great work. All right, keep going. Now we're gonna go both sticks at the same time, but at the eighth note pace. Here we go, one, two, ready, and play. And both at the same time, straight up and down. Make sure you're lifting. Always gotta be lifting. Very good. Now we're gonna do some 16th notes. Starting with right hand. Excellent work. This is great. We're gonna stop one, two, ready, and stop there. Great work. So that's our basic timpani stroke for the French grip. Next I wanna talk about how do we get nice and smooth rolls. Uh, the way that I do that is kinda of similar to what we were talking about with snare drum, if you watched that video. Uh, with snare drum buzz rolls, the idea is to do notes so fast that the human brain changes it into sounding like a sustained tone, like a machine gun turning into just a sustained tone. For timpani, it's similar, but a little bit different. You'll know that timpani kind of have a resonance to them, right? They vibrate long after you've, you've touched them, after you've played them. Uh, snare drum doesn't have that as much. So for timpani, we can have our strokes much less often hit the drum than the snare drum. The key for timpani is that we really need to emphasize the evenness of the roll. So, just like on marimba or xylophone, the way we roll on timpani is with single strokes. We don't do any doubles, we don't do any buzzing. And as with timpani always, we still wanna lift off the drum. So this is the exercise I'm gonna teach you. It's called speed exercise, and it's pretty simple. You can do it at any tempo that you like, and it goes something like this. Just watch me, here we go.
left hand lead. That's called the speed exercise. I also have a similar exercise on drum set when I'm trying to get uh, my swing really fast. I'll do double time for about four measures and then come back to regular time and switch back and forth. Let's do it together. Ready? Remember, first two times we're with the right hand lead and then we switch over to left hand lead. Here we go. One and a two and a ready and a go. And here we go. Speed. Just twice as fast. Still right hand. Here comes the left hand. And we're done. Very good. Last thing I want to talk about before I let you go for today is where we strike the timpani on the head during a roll. When we play single notes, articulate notes, rhythms, things like that, we want to try and hit this the same spot on the drum. So you'll notice I've already created a crevice in my pillow. It's a pretty soft pillow. It's one of my favorite pillows. We want to hit the same spot on the drum. What I haven't been doing in this exercise and what I want to do one more time with you is during the roll, I want to separate our mallets. We're going to separate them about four or five, maybe six inches. What this does on the timpani is you separate your hands apart on the drum and it gets more of the drum involved in the sound. And so it allows all of those strokes that you're playing to kind of even out and make this gorgeous, wonderful roll. So let's do that this time. For each of the fast sections, we're gonna split out our mallets, and for each of the slow sections, we're gonna come back to the center. Ready? Here we go. One, and two, and ready, and go, and. It's pretty cool on a pillow, too, because you get different sounds. Left hand lead. Last one. Excellent job. All right, hope you enjoyed timpani tips. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.